the southern part of the Columbus Fire is burning towards the northern part of the Miles Fire. They don't share a perimeter right now, but are edging closer together, burning in what Kale Casey of the U.S. Forest Service says is being called a special interest area. So not just to the native peoples, to the local folks, this is a special area and people worry that fire is going to take it all out. The Columbus Fire, still burning at 9,800 acres, is edging towards the Miles Fire, burning at 33,000 acres. There's native gathering, traditional rites there for huckleberries. There's a sensitive area between the wilderness and the forest and the tribe and different interests. It's what Kale Casey of the U.S. Forest Service says is being called a special interest area because it's federal land and also tribal land managed by the Cow Creek Band of Umpqua Tribe of Indians. And they have their government to government relationship with the federal government and they have interests in this special area. And he says balancing these different interests also changes their strategy in fighting flames. When there's homes, businesses, infrastructure, community assets at risk, we usually go much more aggressively, search and destroy the heat, attack it, mop it up and put it out. In this case, they're considering letting the fire burn naturally. Sometimes mosaic burning, the way a fire burns in the landscape, can benefit the ecosystem, can benefit traditional gathering rights. But he says there's still some risk involved. Sometimes natural fire actually is worse for a landscape if it gets really intense on its own and gets driven by wind when there's drought. Casey says there's a strong control line already in place on the eastern side of the Miles and Columbus fires, which is giving them some time to decide exactly how they want to fight the flames. Live in studio, Amanda.